Dear friends, good morning to all. After a nice breakfast, we have our energy for the day. And today we will be speaking about, during this third nutrition summit of ours, and we will be talking around food, nutrition, and healthy life. This is somehow a traditional summit which has been organized in the last three years, and I would like to welcome you again. This year's theme is about the past, present, and more importantly, the future of nutrition. For a healthier society, eating habits need to be changed. So I would like to dwell on this shortly. According to data coming from World Health Organization, every year uh, 57 million people lose their lives in the world. But most strikingly, 59% of these people die of diabetes and cardiovascular diseases and such chronic diseases because we have a significant increase in such chronic diseases. So when it comes to the increase in these chronic diseases, we have to acknowledge the fact that people have bad eating habits and they lack physical activity in their daily lives. When we talk about nutrition and food, what comes first in our minds is whether we should, whether we should be eating for living or we should live for eating or we should eat for survival. So we need to answer such questions. Is eating all about making ourselves feel full? But it might very easily turn into a kind of addiction. According to data coming from WHO, 2 billion people like some micronutrients in their daily eating habits. This is called hidden hunger. And many people suffer from this hidden hunger because they do not have a balanced nutritional habits in their lives. So we might not be aware of it, but we are, we, we are confronted with this hidden hunger concept. So Sabri Ukar Foundation is focusing on this significant issue. And when it comes to food and healthy diet, we have brought together some very eminent people who are experts in these fields. And we, we are very lucky because we will be listening to those experts they are leaders in their own fields of studies. And I have one expectation from you, because today we have Turkish intellectuals and opinion leaders in Turkey. And my expectation from you is that you should be disseminating these pieces of information and experiences that you will be gathering here today and uh, you should share this with individuals in society. You should share these with your spouses and with your friends and relatives because dissemination of right information and knowledge will play a very crucial role for us. Sabri Ülker Foundation, since its establishment, has been encouraging healthy nutrition and healthy diet and it attaches great importance to the health of society. This was Sabri Bey's vision of life and philosophy of life and in his own words which went like I will not present what I do not eat to my customers or what my children do not eat will not be presented to our customers. So this is real sincerity because we launch products in which we believe. So we commemorate him with good feelings here. There are numerous people who are not real experts in their field, but they keep talking about nutrition on different media and they create some misconceptions. So it's very and rather difficult to distinguish between 
what's right and what's wrong. And the only and the simple way to overcome this problem is to be scientific and to base our arguments on scientific data and to go along with proven arguments and to disseminate these to society. And the only way to do is to bring experts together to create such open platforms for discussion. And when it comes to such critical issues like food, nutrition and healthy living, we should be discussing these issues openly and scientifically and disseminate the findings efficiently. So there might be some misconceptions, but all arguments should be proven scientifically. Science has ethical values, and obliging with these ethical values is important for all. As Yildiz Holding, we have published this Responsible Nutrition Guideline. This is a booklet we have recently published, which includes issues of communication, especially in ads, because these might encourage children and young adults for overconsumption and overeating. So we have made this disclosure in the sense that we will not be acting like this in our promotional programs and ads. So one of the most important steps we have taken is that in the last five years, we, we have saved 20 tons of sugar and we have reduced the amount of salt and fat in our products in significant amounts. Again, the food of the future and healthy foods of the future we have collaborated with the North Star Company in the sense that we have been following up with scientific data with the support of North Star. Well, lastly, let me tell you that nutrition, a healthy lifestyle, an active and dynamic life children and future generations, all these are very important for us because we have to take good care of these. Our country and other countries and societies and the youth of the world can assume a healthy lifestyle only if we will be assuming responsibilities in these areas. So with that said, I would like to highlight the fact that Sabri Ülker Food Research Institute and Foundation will have to assume more important responsibilities in the US, in Britain, in France, in Germany, in China, in an African countries in Asia and in especially in Turkey we have numerous activities that we will be launching we will have collaborations with institutes and academies and we will enroll programs with universities and we will realize training programs and with all these on hand I heartily believe that future generations will not be confronted with the threats that we are confronted with at the moment and they will not be subject to diseases that we are subject to and their future will be brighter and as Sabri Ulker Food Research Foundation we will continue to support all sorts of scientific studies and training activities. Let this be a commitment of ours. So I would like to thank you once again for your participation and I wish success uh, to speakers of this summit today. Thank you.